through the carbonate, that's how I got free. Drop it back off because there's no stopping me. Postmodern player, sample tastic, flows ekphrastic. I get drastic. Hey, watch the plastic. Yo, I name check and leave you drastic. Welcome to the MacGuffin, episode 176. I'm Spencer. I'm Greg. Today we're giving our DVD rundown for the week of August 7th. Yeehaw. That's a Tuesday. Mm-hmm. Uh, August, man. Already. Yeah, I can't believe it already. And we got a, we got an interesting collection <sighs> yeah. of stuff, actually. Good. Yeah, we like that. Mm-hmm. First up, uh, a film that came out that earlier this year, mm-hmm. animated, Dr. Seuss. We're talking The Lorax. Danny DeVito. Yes, Danny DeVito. Um, you know, this is one of those films that took a, a story that I think was something like 25 yeah. pages. Yeah, very short. And turned that into like an hour and a half movie. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. A little suspect in yeah. that, but you know we're gonna we're gonna overlook that for the purposes yeah. of this release and mm-hmm. just say you know if you like the Lorax or mm-hmm. you like Doctor Seuss, this might be up your alley. Yes, they do do some well things well. Horton for, Pierce, who is a good one. Well, I'm, I'm more oh, talking oh. about this release specifically. Oh, okay. gotcha. That is true as well. Yes. though. Okay. Uh, this one you have the the combo pack of the Blu-ray, DVD, digital, and ultraviolet mm-hmm. copy, so you're covered. All your awesome. all all your Lorax watching knees are covered. <laughs> You got, uh, let's see, Seuss to Screen, mm-hmm. a Seuss, to Seuss It Up featurette, Ooh, a feature commentary. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> uh, on the Blu-ray version, mm-hmm. you have three uh, all-new mini-movies. Mm. So that's kind of cool. As well as making of the mini-movies featurette. Well, that's kind of nice. And there is an expedition tr- to Truffala Valley, mm. which... Gives you a little bit more story. Yeah, in nice. A story. A little bit of background into yeah. the, all the rest of the world yeah. that they made up out of the 20-page book. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, you know, if you if you are a fan of <clears throat> the Lorax, mm-hmm. or you're a fan of Dr. Seuss, or you're a fan of animation... Mm-hmm. This is, a fan of kids' this movies. Is, yeah. You know, this is... this is, Exactly. You can stick this in front of a kid and they'll be happy. Mm-hmm. Uh, this, this is a decent package mm-hmm. release it's yeah. not bare bones i i tend to think that animated movies tend to be amongst the best for blu-ray mm-hmm. so it might be worth your while to look into it might be i'm just, just saying it out. Uh, a tv series that is local in terms of ties mm-hmm. that seems to be doing pretty well mm-hmm. grim yeah as season okay, one coming right. out you know this is the uh twisted sort of take mm-hmm. on the classic grim fairy tales this is nbc's version yes the once upon a time right yeah, That's exactly ABC. yeah but this sort of puts the world of fairy tales into sort of a more real yes. world setting sort if of if i remember correctly the the hunters are descendants from the original Grimm brothers, and they yes. can see yes. like monsters' true faces. Right, exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, yeah, there's a little bit, a little bit over over the top fairy tale mm-hmm. action going on. You know, now with uh, Once Upon a Time and other mm-hmm. stuff. So I'm not, we're not going to delve into yeah. that whole, um, yeah. that whole. Um, but still, clusterfuck. But <laughs> maybe another time. Yeah, there there are some interesting features on this DVD release, mm-hmm. which make it kind of cool. Uh, first up. There is a look at the world of Grimm, mm-hmm. where you get to know the characters and creatures that inhabit the world, and uh, discover some of the inspiration behind the storylines. Cool, which I think sounds pretty cool. Yeah. You know, I like I like sort of that uh, original idea mm-hmm. to sort of current execution. Yeah, you got also a making of monsters, which nice. I think is awesome for Even anyone who's just... sort of like like special effects mm-hmm. or creature effects and all yeah. that kind of stuff. That's going to see how much is digital and how much is prosthetic. Right? Totally, totally, and you know that's it's really interesting where you get to go behind the scenes with Andy. Clement and Barney Berman hmm. as they take viewers through the special makeup effects and designs and application process. Awesome. You know, awesome. Looks pretty cool. I like that. Um, stuff. Additionally, I should note that if you buy the Blu-ray version mm, of it, mm-hmm. you get ultraviolet. Oh wow! Not the case with the DVD huh. release, and sadly, no DVD Blu-ray mm, combo mm-hmm, pack. Mm-hmm. So, if you're gonna buy it, um, yes. get the Blu-ray. There's other stuff like gag reel and deleted scenes, but that's gotcha. kind of always bullshit anyway. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Grim Blu-ray release. You heard it here. You heard. <laughs> Something like that. I'm sorry. Yes. Uh, next, I had to show my whiteness at yeah. least once an episode. We, so. we do have to, in yeah. case the pale reflection yeah. of her yeah. skin is not In case enough. the crazy amount of yeah, glare, glare coming off yeah. of my face. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Another one that is one that, you know, is something I've loved for years, oh, yeah. but haven't really seen in a long time. Mm-hmm. Spaceballs, the mm-hmm. 25th anniversary Blu-ray release is coming out now. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. You know, it's one of those films I loved as a kid. Mm-hmm. Haven't really watched in probably a decade, honestly. Oh, man, really? 
Maybe I, five, ten years. I don't I'd know. I'd probably say I've seen seen it at least five times in the last five years. Really? Yeah. Okay, so Easily. he is clearly a current <laughs> yeah. Spaceballs yes. fan. I am a classic <laughs> Spaceballs <Sorry>. fan. <laughs> I know, I appreciate the, mm-hmm. the currentness. And, you know, 25th anniversary is a pretty mm-hmm. good one to do an update release, as well as moving it to Blu-ray, yes. which is pretty awesome. Yeah. And it appears that... Um, What's his name? Mel Brooks. Uh, Mel Brooks was involved in the sort of transition and creation of this awesome. one. Because, well, the features don't seem to be anything particularly new for the most part. Okay. There is one specific new featurette, which is pretty cool. And that is uh, Farce Yourself, Spaceballs, and the Scoobing of Sci-Fi featurette. In which Mel Brooks takes fans on a guided tour of the making of the uh, Spaceballs Ooh. saga. Which is pretty cool, you know? Awesome. This, it was made during, you know, the prime mm-hmm. of Mel Brooks. It was one of the best sort of uh, parody films mm-hmm. ever done. <laughs> it's it's really funny. I love John Candy. I love Bill Pullman in it. Yeah. It's, it's a lot of fun, you know. It is a great... You know, Star Wars, this is this is during the prime of yes. Star Wars as well. Yes. I think it was like, I mean, what, 87 would it 87, be? 87, yeah. So that would be, what, three years after the last Star Wars? Yes. So, so it's still immensely mm-hmm. popular pre- crash of the mm-hmm. first trilogy yeah. Yeah. uh so you know this space pulse has got to be i'm not gonna say it's as beloved as star mm-hmm. wars but it's probably fairly close it, i mean it's one of those things where it's like it's probably the best sci-fi spoof yeah i can't like, think of a better you know, one it's, it's just nailed that whole st- star treks and space ball or blah, 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 star wars like sci-fi world totally. that had been so totally. popular, they just nailed it. And in addition to the farce yourself new mm-hmm. featurette, you got commentary by Mel Brooks, mm-hmm. Spaceballs, the documentary featurette, <laughs> in conversation with Mel Brooks and mm. Thomas Meehan, uh, John Candy comic spirit featurette. Ooh, nice! There's all sorts of it. Uh, there's an, uh, even a featurette to watch the movie in ludicrous speed. <laughs> so if you ever so really want to watch plaid. it, yeah. But well, if you all want, want to watch the whole movie in like ten minutes or something. You know, oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's, there's an, an option to do mm-hmm. that. And there's also a storyboard awesome. to film uh, comparison, which I think is awesome because mm-hmm. I love to see sort of concept execution. Yeah. That's one of my favorite things because I've always said there are three sort of different uh, films being made. There's yeah. the, the film before and pre-production, the writing of it, yeah. the actual filming, mm-hmm. and then the editing. editing yeah. They're all sort of different films that come out of all those. So yeah. to see that sort of difference is pretty cool. Mm-hmm. The final one, a film that... Also came out this year, mm-hmm. which was down at South by Southwest. Sadly, I did not see it at that point, but Spencer. it's been making it's made making <sighs> waves. I want I did I wanted to see it actually, but I think I wrote something like three hours, and I just was like mm. I can't do mm-hmm. this. There's too too much to stuff to do. <laughs> Marley, the documentary about Bob Marley, oh, nice. which his family was heavily heavily very involved. Cool. In fact, I believe Ziggy Marley was one of the producers on the project. Mm. So um, very nice. This. This Blu-ray release has extended interviews with Bunny Whaler, which is pretty cool. Mm-hmm. You know, Bob Marley and the Whalers. Mm-hmm. Sort of a big deal. Mm-hmm. Kind of a big deal. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Uh, there's additional interviews with Ziggy Marley, Ziggy Marley, Stephen Marley, and Sedelia Marley. Wow. Yeah. So you're getting, as I said, you know, the family really, was heavily yeah, in involved depth. involved in this sort of perspective of That's awesome. Bob Marley. As well as a commentary track from Kevin McDonald, the director, and Ziggy Marley. Hmm. So, you know, if you are a Bob Marley fan at all... Uh, if you're a documentary if fan. If you're a documentary fan at all, it's gotten fantastic buzz. I'm That's definitely going to be checking it out mm-hmm. when this comes out. Yeah. And, you know... I don't know if it's going to be necessarily the most impartial perspective since it's his family yeah. telling the mm-hmm. story, but at the very It'd least, they very probably personal. get yeah. At the very least, you probably get sort of access to all sorts mm-hmm. of crazy uh, yeah. footage and behind the scenes, behind the scene. feel totally. So mm-hmm. it, it looks pretty cool to mm-hmm. me. But you know, that is what we're checking out. If you have a DVD or Blu-ray coming out this mm-hmm. week that you're interested in, let us know. Please. And join us in our next episode when we talk about Jeremy Renner uh, yes. in honor of the Born Legacy. Mm-hmm. Or uh, stop by our website, mcguffinpodcast.com. You can. Twitter.com slash mcguffincast. You can do that, too. Facebook.com slash mcguffinpodcast. Mm-hmm. Phone number, 323-761-9842. We're on iTunes, Blip, uh, Miro, Roku. Check in. Get glue. We'll see you next time. Stop.
me. Magneto can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. Even Zod can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. Like, don't even try to bite the sun. Mr. Spock can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. The Wrath of Khan can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. The Borg can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. Because I've got space game and it feels all.